film a fight, a gun and a major scuffle all during lunchtime today at Eastern High School in Middletown. Tonight, some parents contacting WHS 11 disagree with the version of what happened that's being told by JCPS. JCPS says its statement is accurate and they add the surveillance video to back it up. WHS 11 night teams Bobby McSwine and photojournalist Ian Hardwit sat down with a mother and her Eastern High School daughter tonight who says she saw it all. Terrified parents came to pick up their kids here at Eastern High School after a student was found with a gun. JCPS says the gun fell from the student's backpack, while students and parents say the student pulled the gun out on another student. A difference they say makes all the difference. Something needs to be done, and the lies aren't going to help. Serenity Carr says she went to the bathroom during her lunch period and came back to chaos in the cafeteria. I saw two dudes fighting and then one of the dudes pulled a gun out on the other dude and I stood frozen in the bathroom doorway because I didn't know what to do. Serenity says she saw an ROTC instructor tackle the student with the gun and the gun slide across the floor to another student's feet. She says students then jumped over tables trying to escape. I saw a bunch of my classmates crying and they weren't able to stop. Serenity's mom, Katie Giovanelli, says she was horrified. It was very traumatizing. So until your child actually gets in your arms and like they're okay, you're never prepared for any of this stuff. JCPS says the gun was never brandished or pulled from the backpack. The district says it fell from the student's backpack and slid across the floor, saying they've reviewed video surveillance and talked to adults involved in the situation. They say the gun was immediately secured. The mother-daughter duo don't buy it. I feel like that they are just trying to protect themselves. And regardless, after witnessing other violent incidents, they say the district needs to tighten up its security measures. Giovanelli says her daughter will no longer attend Eastern, news that would normally be hard for a rising senior to hear. But Serenity says it's worth it. If it protects me and keeps me safe, then honestly, I'm probably going to be a lot happier. JCPS added extra security for the rest of the day and is providing mental health resources while disciplining the student according to their policies. Metro Police and JCPS Police were also called to the school. In Louisville, Bobby McSwine, the WHAS 1119 on your side.